shocking truth about high mileage EVs, should you even care? Welcome to EVpedia, where your love for electric vehicles gets supercharged every week. Before we dive in, here's a quick copyright disclaimer. This video is purely for educational and entertainment purposes. All footage, opinions, and content belong to their respective creators, and no copyright infringement is intended. Now buckle up because today's episode might just flip everything you thought you knew about car ownership. Have you ever wondered, do those high miles on electric car even matter anymore? Can an EV with over 100,000 miles still go the distance without costing you a fortune? If you already know the answer, or even have a guess, drop it in the comments right now. We'd love to hear what you think. And while you're at it, let's set ourselves an electrifying goal. Can we hit 12,000 likes and 1,500 comments on this video within 24 hours? I believe the amazing EVpedia family can absolutely smash it. You guys are the battery that keeps this channel running, and to our loyal subscribers, thank you for sticking with us on this ride. So here's what we're plugging into today on the Plugged In Podcast. We're talking about the fascinating debate around EVs with over 100,000, even 200,000 or 300,000 miles on the odometer, and whether you should even care any more about that number when shopping for a used electric car. At the same time, we'll take a look at how the slate truck, which was touted as a super affordable electric pickup, may get more expensive soon. Oh, and of course, summer is here, so we're also touching on why this season could be the best time ever to score an amazing deal on a used EV. Let's start with this. Summer is sizzling, but not just in temperature. The EV deals are on fire. While new cars are still pricey and even used gas cars aren't exactly cheap, the used electric car market is heating up in your favor. Thanks to the $4,000 used EV tax credit, which runs through September 30th, you can find real bargains on gently used models. Think Ford Mustang Mach-E, Polestar 2, and what feels like an endless parade of Tesla Model 3s, many just coming off lease. But here's the real kicker. What if you spot a really tempting deal, but the EV in question has 100,000 miles on it? Or maybe even more? Should you walk away, or could it actually be the smartest buy of your life? Well, Inside EVs recently highlighted several tests and studies showing that high-mileage EVs actually hold up shockingly well. Their batteries degrade much less than you might expect. Many still deliver impressive range and efficiency, even after crossing that six-figure mileage mark. Unlike gas cars, which lose power and efficiency as their mechanical parts wear out, EVs don't have those same vulnerabilities. Their motors and batteries just keep going. So if an EV's brakes, tires, suspension, and interior are still in good condition, and it hasn't been wrecked, then maybe mileage doesn't matter much at all anymore. That could completely change how we think about car ownership. You'd never think about a gas car with 200,000 miles as, like, new, but an EV? It just might be. And just imagine what that means for the future. Millions of affordable, dependable used EVs extending their life cycles way beyond what anyone thought possible. That's not just good for your wallet. It's great for the planet. Speaking of wallets, we also analyzed how Slate Auto's affordable electric truck may lose some of its appeal if EV tax credits expire, and its price starts creeping up closer to competitors like the Ford Maverick. If it's no longer sub-$20,000, is it still a game-changer? Or just another player in a crowded field? And we can't ignore Rivian CEO RJ Scaringe's recent comments, calling traditional automakers the biggest barrier to a full electric transition. That's a bold statement, do you agree? Let me know in the comments if you think he's right, or if he's just playing PR. Quick pit stop here. If you're enjoying this ride so far, take a moment and give this video a like and share it with a friend who's shopping for a car. Your likes and comments don't just help the algorithm. They are the fuel that keeps us producing more videos for you. And remember our goal, 12,000 likes and 1,500 comments in 24 hours. Let's light it up together. Personally, as EVpedia, I think these findings about high-mileage EVs are nothing short of revolutionary. To me, the idea that a 150,000-mile electric car can still deliver nearly the same experience as a brand new one really changes the calculus. It's a huge leap forward for accessibility and sustainability. But hey, that's just my take. What's yours? Tell me your thoughts down in the comments below. Here's a question for you one more time. Do you think an EV with 100,000 miles or more is still a good deal? Why or why not? Comment your answer now before we reveal the facts. All right, so what's the truth? Here it is. According to studies and real-world data, most modern EV batteries lose only about 10 to 20% of their original capacity even after 100,000 miles. 
Many continue performing at a level that's more than good enough for daily driving, and battery replacements are rarely needed before 150,000 to 200,000 miles. So yes, a high-mileage EV could absolutely be a smart buy as long as the rest of the car is in good shape. So what does this all mean for you? It means you can shop for a used EV with confidence as long as you're informed. Be sure to check maintenance records, test the range, and inspect the condition, but don't automatically dismiss high miles the way you would with a gas car. And before we wrap up, here's a cool fact that you probably didn't know. Did you know that some EV batteries can actually improve slightly in performance during the first few thousand miles due to conditioning? That means an EV can actually get better before it eventually starts to decline. Pretty fascinating, right? Now it's your turn. Tell us in the comments, would you buy a high mileage EV? Why or why not? Share your opinion below. We read every single one. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, drop a comment with your thoughts, and help us crush our target of 12,000 likes and 1,500 comments within the next 24 hours. And if you haven't already, join the EVpedia family by subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you never miss a moment of this electrifying journey. And remember, you're not just watching videos, you're shaping the conversation about the future of transportation. Share this video with someone who's on the fence about EVs. Thank you for watching till the very end, and as always, stay charged, stay curious, and we'll see you next time on EVpedia.